What is up, Techno fam? What's going on? Hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to buy AMP using your AVR, specifically a Denon or Marantz, and we're going to check it out right after the jump. Today's video is brought to you by the Angels of Ether NFT project. Now, if you don't know what an NFT is, I have been totally about NFTs for the past couple of weeks. One of the projects I like the most are these Angels of Ether. Now, if you don't know what an NFT is, it stands for non-fungible token. What the heck does that mean? So basically an NFT is a digital asset, which could be a picture, it could be audio, that can be bought sold or traded. So if you want to think about it in the easiest, most simplified form, just think about it as a digital collectible card. Yeah, kind of like a baseball card or a Pokemon card or something like that. I really like the artwork here for this project, Angels of Ether. I think this stuff looks really, really cool. I actually own three angels. And if you are holding angels before September 15th, you get the Guardian of Ether per angel. So I've got three angels. I'll be getting three guardians come September 15th. So it's almost like a buy one, get one free thing. It's pretty cool. Not only that, they've been giving away angels every single day. I'm really loving the artwork. So make sure if you want to get into NFTs, check out the links down in the description for the Angels of Ether website, Discord, and Twitter. And if you join up their Discord, you'll probably see me all up in there. Now, if you need to know how to buy NFTs, my buddy Mike has made a great video guide on how to do so. I'll link that down in the description. But anyway, check out the Angels of Ether project. The art looks amazing. All the links are down in the description. Okay, so this video was requested by Richard Myers. He's been asking me to make this video for a, like a couple of months now. So here you go, Richard. Now, if you don't know what buy amp is, I made a video about it a few years ago when I had a lot more hair. So if you don't know exactly what it means to buy amp, make sure you check out that video as well. All right, so first things first, how do you know if you can buy amp your speakers? Basically, if the back of your speakers have two sets of binding posts like you see here that have a little copper jumper in between the poles there, this means you will be able to buy amp your speakers. You would remove the two copper jumpers and you'll have two sets of binding posts, one for the low frequency and one for the high frequency. If you have any unused channels on your AVR, you could use them for buy amp. In this picture, you can see the front right and surround back right are used to buy amp one speaker. You can connect the front right to the low frequency connector on the back of your speaker, and then connect the surround back right to the high frequency binding posts on the back of your speakers. And that's basically it. So if you're running a multi-channel AVR where it powers 11 channels or nine channels, and you're only running five or seven, then you probably have the opportunity to buy amp your speakers, at least your front speakers. So I have the Denon X6700H, which processes 13 channels and powers 11 channels. Now, the interesting thing about this receiver is that it does have 13 sets of binding posts on the back. So I can have like a lot of flexibility. There's like a couple of different zones. So let's jump into the setup menu so I can show you guys how to buy amp. Here we are in the setup menu. If you are on a Marantz AVR, you can follow these instructions. It's pretty much gonna be the same thing. So first we wanna go down and select speakers, then choose manual setup. Next, select amp assign. At the very top, it says assign mode. This is what we want to select. Currently, I have it set up for preamp mode as I use external amplification for all 10 of my speakers. I have two five channel amplifiers and that's that. All we have to do is scroll over and look for something that says buy amp. And it looks like our first option is 9.1 channel buy amp. Now in this mode, it looks like we can run seven ear level speakers, two height speakers with either height two or height three binding posts set up for bi amp, or we can run five ear level speakers with four height channels and height three binding posts set up for the bi amp. If we go down to terminal config, we can see front bi amp using front main binding posts and front bi amp using height three binding posts. So we would connect the main left and right to the low frequency of the binding posts and then connect the height three left and right to the high frequency binding posts on the back of your speakers. That's pretty much it for this configuration. Let's see what other options we have. The next bi-amp assign mode we have is 7.1 channel bi-amp with zone two. 
and you have the choice of using either height one or height three binding posts for the bi amp channels. So as you can see, this configuration, there are no height channels being used as height one or height three are used for the bi amp channels and you're using height two binding posts for zone two. All right, let's keep looking for another bi amp setup. If we keep scrolling through Ampassign, we do find a 5.1 channel full bi amp. You can buy amp all your five ear level speakers. I've never seen this before. I've never even heard of people doing this before, but hey, you have that option. Let's see what the terminal layout looks like. It looks like the surround back will be reserved for the front bi amp. Height one left is reserved for the center channel bi amp and height two left and right are reserved for the surround speaker bi amp. This is a very interesting setup, which probably won't be available on most AVRs as you will need to be able to power 10 speakers for this. Since the Denon X6700H can power 11 channels, this option of a 5.1 channel full bi-amp is available since we're only powering 10 speakers. Well, five speakers, but powering them with two outputs each. So again, looking at that diagram, you would take the front bi-amp left, and connect that to either your low frequency or your high frequency and then the front bi amp left from the other binding post whether that be the surround back height one height two height three whichever binding post that's designated in that you know terminal config situation that we saw a little bit ago you would connect those binding posts to the high frequency binding posts on the back of your speakers so you just have to do a little bit more of a, like a kind of like a mental organization on how that works i'm loving that the denon emirates also have the view terminal config diagrams to make things a lot easier for you if you're trying to buy amp again i don't buy amp my speakers don't do that and when i did have speakers that could buy amp I, when i tried it i didn't really notice a huge difference so that's on you but uh yes this is another viewer requested video uh richard i hope that answers all of your questions and if you guys have any questions about this or anything else let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email whichever you like to use well that's pretty much it we'll see you in the next one peace